what's up guys welcome back i'm spartini and today we have another hour from the witcher 3 wild hunt and guys we are keeping the the missions very very slow i'm trying to do all the side missions beside the main mission which is the purpose of the game uh, but yeah uh, in this video we did kill some dogs some drownings and for the great finale we killed a griffin yes we did kill a griffin i thought it would be harder but uh, it was kind of easy i may say so i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one Monsters! Monsters from the swamp! Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck, devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you, I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box.
cart tracks rode off into the swamp. Here's the cart. Carts riddled with arrows. Carts riddled with arrows. arrows. I should take a look around. got serious memory problems, or he's lying. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. You find the box. Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding, like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. Gotta get him out of here. Wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gamer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. 
I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free North. Fine. Go. And may you and your soldier buddies hiding in the bushes be victorious in your struggle against Nilfgaard. You have a vile sense of humor. But you're a decent man. Here, the gold I promised. Use it well. Drink to the silver lilies and to Faltes memory. That's it, Roach. the beggar tickets the red bloom well well one versed in herbs probably saying too much but i know a bit for instance that beggar ticks poisonous in large doses small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams which is all i can hope to do for her looking for buckthorn know if it grows anywhere around here hmm bottom of the river where the channel's widest but you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something something. Ah, oh, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. Mislov just left home. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. 
more dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a Witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form too late. Attacked another one. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm a freak too. Aye, but of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I, we loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me.
was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Nelf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. A camp. are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Elf Guardians, probably. is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area.
burned. Only a human could do this. Ooh. Not so fast, Roach. Run, Roach. Slow now. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived. Walked right in like twere his own. I was standing at my window, peering at the goings on. He must have been. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So. I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him, and me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose, but I've no other. Would you help me, dearie, bring an old widow or pan? I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any mood. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, but he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case.
corpse, explains the stench. Cracked monocle. Interesting. What's that, dearie? Nothing, nothing. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But His when throat. I to myself, he was garroted. They say I'm going barmy. And some old scars. Hand, have you? Kind of soldier might have. Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Found the pan, have ye? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nuff Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, son. For the road. Greetings. A witcher? You see the notice? Hear about the well? A well? First I've heard. They're a problem? Aye. 
It is haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle it's turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now, no one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witches? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. It's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Meet you there. This will cool the stuff you need.
does the sun ever shine in this land? Stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on, we can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me. Once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Care Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Care Morn. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Hear that? It's close. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Wait. Wait this. Crossbow. Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. A witcher with a crossbow? We breaking with tradition? Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Watch out! About to die.
Not bad. Not bad. Though you could stand to improve some things. Man spends his whole life learning. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. No, I, I I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never know. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. Oh no, no! By the gods, no! What? Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the Griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Spy or haggle? Show me what you're peddling.
Morale holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? So long. Are you here to spy, or haggle? Show me what you're peddling. So long. You will be me. Quite well, I will never believe it. 